This is the Nearstream AWM20T and the Nearstream AWM20D. Throughout this video, I'll refer to the AWM20T as a 20T and the AWM20D as a 20D. These are wireless mic systems that are sub 150 that are definitely worth it if you are a content creator on a budget. The 20T is $130 and the 20D is $80. Nearstream sent these mics out for review. However, this review is solely based on my experience with them and how I'll be using them going forward. The 20T and the 20D are similar. I mean, they're definitely the same mic, so there really isn't a need to compare these mics when it comes to capability and quality. The difference between the two is that the 20T has two transmitters, a receiver and a charging case, and the 20D has one receiver, one transmitter, and no charging case. Both the 20T and the 20D comes with the USB-A to USB-C cable that you can use to charge the transmitter and the receiver. In the case of the 20T, you can charge the transmitter and the receivers while charging the case simultaneously. There are various ways that you can use these microphones. You can use them with your mobile phone for vlogging and video calls. You can use them with your laptop for live streaming and video calls. And you can use it with a tablet, basically for all the same use cases. In the box, you get a three millimeter TRS to TRS, a three millimeter TRS to TRRS, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a USB-A to USB-C cable with a USB-C to lightning adapter. It also comes in a hard shell case that you can put all of this in, carry this around, and like I said, they're all sub 150 mics, which has all the peripherals that you need to make sure that you have what you need when you're using these microphones. Now, based on the use cases that I mentioned earlier, what I'm most interested in using these microphones for is with my camera and with my computer. I didn't mention that you can use this with a camera, but you can use this with a camera. They're wireless microphones that are made for content creators and those who need them for video calling purposes. Now, I'm excited about it because I'm on a video call for about 10 to 15 hours a week and knowing that I can use these are a plus for me. Another plus is the noise cancellation feature. Nearstream calls it the AI noise cancellation. So far, my experience, it works well. You can switch it on and off. You cannot change the levels or anything like that. It's just a one button and it turns it on and turns it off. My take on this feature is that it is straightforward. You don't have to worry about adjusting anything too much. You press the gray button, the blue light turns green, and that's how you know it's on. So what I mean is, if you see this microphone right here, the light is blue and I'm going to press this button on the side and now the light is green and that's how you know the noise cancellation feature is on. The transmitter also has a mute button and now if I were to, so I'm going to mute myself for a second, now if I were to press this button right here, when I press the button a red light turns on and that's how you know that the mic is muted. Now I'm going to turn the noise cancellation feature off for right now. This is what this space sounds like without any noise cancellation. I am sitting in my office. I have two Godox SLCCWs, which has motors for fans. And in this space, this is what it sounds like without any noise cancellation. I've been using it without the noise cancellation this entire time. And I'm gonna turn the noise cancellation back on. As you can see, the light is now green. Truthfully, I've been using it in this space without the noise cancellation. It has been unedited, no mastering, nothing like that. This entire video will be shot unedited. Now when it comes to transmission and range, you have 200 meters of transmission with unobstructed line of sight, meaning that as long as you are within 200 meters, the transmitter and receiver will communicate with one another. Any further apart, the transmission will disconnect or it will sound choppy. If you want to see me test this out, let me know down in the comments. If you are in a situation where there's any blockage in between the transmitter and receiver, you have 50 meters of range. Just make sure you're monitoring your audio really within that 200 range anyways. Now, when it comes to battery life, I used the 20D for about four hours before the receiver died and the transmitter still had half a battery left. What I think is the main perk of this entire package is the carrying case. It is sturdy. In the case that you need to carry any other wires or anything like that or any miscellaneous things that can fit inside of it, this case is great. I can think of about five things that I can carry in this case. When it comes to use cases with wireless mics like these, you can use them in any way that you can, but what I like to do is connect it to a shotgun mic and set it on the table and use it for when I'm recording videos like these. So just to test this out and see what it sounds like, I am going to take this shotgun mic right here, detach the microphone, plug this in, clip this onto here. And now this is what it sounds like in a space like this where I use these microphones or wireless microphones. 
I will use this setup in a few videos, even without the without the shotgun microphone, just to see how it sounds. Now, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments while staying awesome. Stay awesome.